Has anyone ever been to a restaurant and had an awful experience based on the long wait times, cold food, or just really bad service? Yeah, everyone. Well, what is typically the first thing people do when they are in that situation? They go online and leave a bad review. Um, and for a restaurant owner, this is their worst nightmare. This like shows their reputation and it can make or break them. But what if I told you with just a few short training shifts and a few couple tips that all of this can be fixed and we could have your business back and better than it ever was. So a little bit into our background and our history, um, Great Table Consulting um, started um, about 10 years ago and then basically it started when six college students were placed in a group project together to create a consulting company and most of us or all of us had restaurant service previously or currently and we just kind of put the two and two together and made a business and we've been very successful um we, basically what we do is we take um low rated uh restaurants online and we do everything we can to improve those ratings and give everyone a five star service um We've been in business for over 10 years and we have improved several companies such as The Brick and the, and also Nama, which is local. So Great Table, um, within its 10 years, has accomplished several things. Um, some of our accomplishments are um, winning the American Business Award for three years in a row. Um, and some or majority of our clients have reported back to us that there has been a 70% decrease in their negative comments and reviews online. Um, another one would be there was a struggling steakhouse and um, they were at a 3.5 and within six months we got them up to a 4.5 and improved the environment and their rating and they've been very successful ever since. Um, our vision is becoming the first option leaders for restaurants and assisting them to achieve their true potential through strategically planned uh, business objectives and our mission is to empower restaurants to make distinctive successful and substantial improvements that transform their business through the power of online reviews um we really just want the what, what's best for you guys and we want to help the company as much as we can um, your success is our success. Um, we value accountability. You definitely need commitment, um, integrity, creativity, for sure. With our experience in the restaurant industry, that has influenced our values as a company, and it affects the way we communicate with our clients. Um, we understand that everyone goes through things. They have struggles, problems, just something. Some, there's always something. And um, so we know firsthand and we understand that and we want to help the best that we can um, most effectively. One of our core values is commitment. We are very committed to our clients and we want what's best for them. We're very passionate about this industry and their success is our success. And we know what it's like to be in their shoes. So we want to help them as much as we can. And we also value collaboration. Um, we aim to collaborate with the restaurant. We never want to just like feel like we're coming in and taking over and changing up the whole restaurant. We actually listen to you guys and jump off y'all's ideas and then we come up with a plan and see what works best for everybody. Um, but it's not going to work out if we don't have effective communication, teamwork, and respect for others. Um, we communicate pretty often with our clients. We always check in at least once a month, like once we get you started and stuff. But in the beginning, we contact like weekly, multiple times a week and whatnot. Um, but from day to day, it'll be like via phone, email, um, video conference. Um, and we will come in person if you would like us to. That's usually when we do the training and stuff. But we'll come whenever you need us. Um, it really doesn't matter just shoot us an email call and we can set that up um, but yeah great table has helped over hundreds of Georgia restaurants um, 
improve their reviews. Um, we will continue our services in Georgia, but we also soon, very soon, hope to expand our location um, within the United States. And then we're also working up a deal with um, an international division. Um, so that's really exciting. Um, Great Table values and their benefits and knows they're very important. That is how you differentiate yourself from your competitors. It allows you to show your clients that you're invested in them, you're passionate about them, you care about them um, in their future. Um, we offer many benefits for our clients, um, discounts, rewards for their achievements with working with us, and even afterwards, like once you're successful. Hello everybody, my name is Tiffany Floyd and I currently work for Great Table Consulting. I am a customer service director. I started in the restaurant industry when I was about 16 and being a host and then I've gradually worked my way up to being a server, which I love. Um, but then um, when I was in college, I met a group of wonderful people and we all created this great foundation. Um, my title is the customer service director and basically what I do is I help answer any questions that the restaurants might have or I um, go in and help them specifically with like customer service and stuff like that. Um, but typically I will review over my restaurants for the week and then I'll just go in and introduce myself and meet everybody so it doesn't feel like I'm going in and like telling people what to do um but then after that I'll go look at the reviews see what needs to be worked on the most and then we'll start training from there and I'll come in for a few weeks until I feel like we're doing a whole lot better um it is very important for my clients to know about my knowledge and my experience um because they're putting their whole company basically in my hands so it's important to know that I you can trust me um and also it's good to build a relationship with my clients so everyone and everything will work out better and more successful and everyone will be happier i'm currently working with this company in carrollton georgia it's a mexican restaurant called la fiesta um they've been open for about 12 years they're just struggling a little bit and need some help which is fine um they offer $2 margaritas on Tuesdays and on Wednesdays they have like $5 wings and on also on Wednesdays they offer a trivia night um, and some nights they do have live music. It's a really great time. They have a good atmosphere. Um, some of their competitor, competitors are Locomex and La Salsa. Um, Locomex does stay open later. Um, it does have the same type of food. Um, they have karaoke instead of trivia, which is a good time. Um, but Locomex is a little more expensive and it is smaller. La Fiesta is bigger. Um, and then their other competitor competitor would be La Salsa, which they also do have the same food, but they don't offer like any events. They do have specials on foods and drinks, but nothing like La Fiesta. So I definitely think you should try La Fiesta. As you can see, the, one of the reviews beside me is basically stating that they have really good food, really good nachos, apparently, um, great customer service. They even pointed out the server and how they request her. Um, this is great for um, your company's image. Um, this is a really good key component to have. Um, another thing La Fiesta uh, has an advantage of is that they just have such a good atmosphere. They have different activities for all ages, um, live bands, trivia, which are really good things on, and also how you attract new customers as well. Um, another strength that La Fiesta has is um, really carrying really good food. Apparently they have the best nachos, um, really good guacamole and salsa, just really everything's yummy. Um, more regulars which is very good that's excellent um, this is what every restaurant strives for um, excellent food which means keeps the customers coming back happy customers happy business 
while I was looking over the reviews for this uh, restaurant, I came across some of their weaknesses, which it is important to know your strengths and your weaknesses to be successful. Um, I noticed that on this one that um, they keep bringing the wrong food. Um, they didn't have really good communication skills when dealing with the situation, so that needs to be worked on. Um, they just need to work on communication and making sure to um, bring in the right food to the right table because if not, it just messes up. Like if one person gets their food and the other person's was messed up while they're waiting, the other person's just eating or their food gets cold and the other person's just like waiting with no food. So it kind of really sucks. So it's important that we stop that before it happens. Another weakness that I happened to come across was that um, La Salsa has sometimes some long wait times and then they forgot to um, give them their silverware. Um, this is kind of crucial. Um, long wait times, I mean, sometimes you can't help that. Everywhere you go, there's going to be a wait. But we can minimize how long they are um, by not messing up orders because that will mess up the kitchen and push it back which will make it longer busting tables stuff like that um we need to make sure our guests always have what they have um they are basically coming to us and we are serving them like we are in our house um so just think of it as like what everything you how you would want to be treated is how the customer needs to be treated um another thing Lissa also has been struggling with is um when they bring the food out it is some reviews said it was cold so we need to try our best to get it out as soon as it's ready and hot and fresh okay so a few recommendations that i have for uh this restaurant would be for um getting the customers the correct food on time um i learned this little uh four-step process while i was serving it's called war and it's right ask repeat review so what you do is like when you go take a table's order you write it down always and you ask questions about it and then you review the order back to them to make sure you got everything correct so they know it's not on you and then you go to the pos system and key in their order and then review it again before you hit submit this will uh help the kitchen not like have to do refries um so it won't get backed up um, this will also help with long wait times, um, and it will make sure everyone gets their correct food, um, so they won't have to be waiting any longer than they already do. Uh, another thing that could help with long wait times would be, um, like having a bus boy. Um, I also recommend having like an expo and a food runner because that will just save time and it also make sure that the food comes out hot and ready as soon as it's there and it helps the waitresses out and everything will just smooth smoother in the restaurant. Another recommendation that I have for this company would be that everyone that just works together as a team, um, things will just move very smoother. Um, like for example, if another person sees the table needs to be bust or um, a waitress needs help with something like Ask them if they need help, bust their tables, um, make sure all the guests are okay. Like just everything will move smoother if everyone just works together and helps each other out. Um, it will avoid lots of confusion, lots of mess ups. Like, or if you see someone at the host stand needing somewhere to be sat, like go seat yourself. That's also extra money for you as well. Um, it's really just up to you, but I think it's best if everyone works together, um, everything just goes a lot smoother and it's really helpful based on other reviews that I have looked over um, I have noticed that some say the restaurant is a little dirty um, and they've noticed bugs this is like crucial for the restaurant industry um, majority of customers if they see a bug or if the bugs in their food or they just get weirded out grossed out and never want to come back so it is very, very, very important that we get the cleanliness under control um, so there's no bugs, no, and plus we lose money that way. We have to like take off food and stuff like that. Um, and it will also like really bring your weight rating down and that's just really not what we want. We want us to succeed. We want four to five stars 
always. Um, so it is important. I suggest that we, um, like the manager, we have like a cleaning list and like we just check off, assign someone to do a certain cleaning and um, just have people check and go over it and make sure it gets done every single night before the shift's over. Some more reviews that I looked over, um, I came across that one said that um, a group of five came to eat and um, three of them had uh, stomach issues once they left and that is very, very, very bad. Um, we cannot have any of those that would really cause harm on the restaurant and probably even get it shut down um so we need to deal with that issue immediately and just make sure that we cook the food thoroughly and make sure our guests don't get sick because this could cause lawsuits and it's just very bad for the restaurant but it does happen it happens at home too but we can't make a habit of this it's very very important that we make sure everything's cooked thoroughly and stuff like that um and lastly, our communication. When dealing with customers, if we do get something wrong, we do need to always remember that the customer is right, no matter what, even if they're not. Um, but we need to do what is beneficial for them so we can keep their, um, cus like keep them as customers. Like if we mess up an order, we should probably, um, take off something or like offer a free dessert you never know just any way that could help and show that you care and that will bring in more customers and keep customers as well so located on this side you will see um a SWOT analysis chart and that is just an easy way for us to break it down and show you your strengths and weaknesses side by side and then your in conclusion of this presentation i would just like to point out um, that it is very important uh, for restaurants to monitor their reviews weekly um, just so you know what's going on and it is important to reply to them um, and communicate with them so you can keep them coming back and love your restaurant. I've, everyone makes mistakes. Everyone knows that. So it is important just to keep up and reach out. Um, but with the help of my team um, and me, if a restaurant you know is struggling or needs help, um, just don't hesitate. Reach out. You can contact us. I attached our contact information on this slide. Um, but for us, we will do uh, weekly check-ins on y'all if we just started working with you guys. And then as stuff starts picking up and getting better, um, we'll just do monthly check-ins. But we are available anytime during business hours. Just shoot us an email, give us a call, whatever works best for you. Um, but thank you all so much, La Fiesta, for this amazing opportunity and coaching you guys. Um, I have enjoyed it along the way and also have enjoyed everyone I got to meet. To show our appreciation and everything for our valued customers, we would like to give you guys a free cutting board with our logo on it. Um, just to show our appreciation for you guys. We really do appreciate y'all and we would not be where we are today without our amazing clients. Thank you.